So this is the walkway where a lot of people start parking their bikes, but it goes back pretty far, so I'll give you a full tour. So as you can see, there's so many spots where you can park your bike. All the way up there is secondary maths and science, and through this door is secondary English. So I'll take you over to the primary school now, which is where I work. So it's kind of a little bit of a walk. Let's go. So in here is the second grade offices, which is one of the main grades that people teach. There's a lot of teachers in there. Up there is fourth grade, which is where I'm at. And in here, there's also third grade up there, first grade and fifth grade up there. So let's go ahead and take a look at my office in fourth grade. This is my schedule for the week. I have observation on Monday morning, Wednesday afternoon, Thursday morning and afternoon, and Friday. So, not too bad. Hopefully next week I will start teaching. So, for those of you who don't know how EMG works, sorry I have to talk while we're in the office. Um, basically, the government hired us to go into public schools. So it's not a language center, we fully work at the public schools and we meet here in the office every morning and then based on your class schedule you either take a taxi or an EMG van to your public school that you'll be teaching at for that day, you'll teach your lesson and then you'll come back to the office. So. today because I didn't have anything to do. I had no observations or anything. Um, and on Wednesday morning, I don't have any observations either. So actually after that lunch, I'm still a little bit hungry. This is the first time that that's happened. So I just ordered some food off of grab and I'm gonna go pick it up from the front of my office so take a walk with me and let's go get it. home from work just got out of the shower and I thought I'd update you on a little change to my schedule for the rest of the week so after my observation that I had today in the afternoon um, I didn't have anything scheduled for the rest of the afternoon so I got back around four o'clock um, around five o'clock which is almost time for me to clock out and go home uh, one of the managers ended up coming up to me and asking me or not asking me telling me that I'm gonna cover two classes in the afternoon tomorrow um, so originally my Friday schedule was nothing in the morning and just observing a class in the afternoon. 
Um, but now I am teaching two classes tomorrow afternoon, so it's my first time teaching at UMG. I'm really excited. A third grade science class and a fourth grade English class. Both of the classes are classes that I have observed this week. So it'll be really easy to, you know, just go over the PowerPoint tomorrow morning, look at all the materials, and just, you know, remember what I saw in the classroom. So I'm super excited and I can't wait to show you guys. Hopefully if I can film, I'm not sure, probably won't be able to, but I can tell you about it after. first week teaching at EMG. I say that in quotation marks because really it's my third week at EMG, um, but schools have been closed for the first two weeks that I was working there. Um, they were already on holiday because of TED or Lunar New Year, so they just decided to extend the holiday two more weeks in case there were any COVID cases that broke out from people traveling during the holidays. Um, so I've been sitting at my desk watching people online teach, but haven't really done anything until this week when schools opened back up and I was able to get in the classroom, observe, and then start teaching today on Friday. And actually before I taught this afternoon, one of the managers came up to me and gave me a full schedule. That'll be my permanent schedule from now on. Um, so a lot of us that came in, you know, this late in the school year, we are expecting to just be cover teachers, which basically means, you know, we're a substitute if anyone calls in sick or just doesn't show up to a class, you have to go and cover their class for them, but you don't actually have your own set schedule or set classes, um, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. You know, you might have a week where you're not really doing anything, but then you might have a week where it's just crazy and you're just down in the classroom last minute a bunch. Um, so I am grateful to have my own schedule. It is a lot more classes than I was expecting, but I'm sure that I'll get used to it. And the managers have been super awesome sitting down with me. They went through all the folders, showed me where to find all my materials and even helped me, you know, print stuff out today. So it was really awesome to have their help and their support, especially since I'm just getting used to, you know, how everything works here. But I'm excited to start my full teaching schedule next week with my own classes and my own students. So I hope this video was helpful for you if you're thinking of coming to Vietnam and teaching or specifically teaching at EMG or honestly just thinking about teaching abroad in general. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.